still knows what to do with that. Let me tell you! Enoch, Ramsbottom and Mr Lovejoy, said to have 12 million radio fans, were found by Movie Tone discussing a problem of the moment. Hey, it's proper champion to see everybody again. Now then, Ramsbottom, out fresh. Well, yes, I see they've started a ration of soap. Well, it's all done with an effort to win the war, you know. Oh, I know that, Governor, but what about Enoch? Enoch, he'll never miss the soap. <laughs> he never uses it. He doesn't even know what water is. <laughs> I said to him this morning, I said, the water, you haven't washed, you know what water is. He said, the water is that stuff they shove round battleships and push under bridges. <laughs> oh. You know, Governor, you're beginning to look depressed about it. So I should feel depressed. This morning, this very morning, the wife, she gave me soap flakes instead of corn flakes. Oh, I'll bet that made you mad. Mad? I was foaming at the mouth. Let me tell you, oh, I went for my salt brushing this morning and all they had was sirene tablets. Sirene tablets? Well, you better go back and get some all clear gums. Let me tell you, I've got a lot of war saving certificates now. Oh, I know you're a careful fella. You don't spend any more than you need to do, do you? No, I just managed to keep me head above water. Ah, that accounts for your mucky neck. Well, I've got no soap. Well, you've got a tongue in your head, haven't you? Aye, but my tongue won't reach the back of my neck. Oh. Let me tell you, at Blackpool once, I saved a woman's life with a bar of soap. Now, don't be daft. How could you save a woman's life with a bar of soap? I did, Mr Lovejoy. She tumbled off the end of the pier and she was being washed out to sea. So I chucked her a bar of soap to wash her back. Oh, take him away, Ramsbottom. Bottom. <laughs>